what's going on? It is Andy Chase and uh, Seaside on Tap just a couple days away. Seaside Park. You can still get your tickets uh, before the day of the event. Uh, go to 1057thehawk.com. You can also get them at the festival itself. Uh, they're $40 at the gate, but if you get them before, it's $30. So we're very excited about having over 100 craft and seasonal beers on hand. And uh, right now we're with Rob mm -hmm. from the Chamonix Brewery. Yep, the Chamonix Creek Brewery. I got it right. I got it right. Yep. Uh, where are you guys located? So we're, uh, we're uh, a brewery that's about two years old. We just did our second anniversary on June 1st, and we're located in Lower Bucks County in Pennsylvania. Basically, if you head over on 195 and jump over the Delaware River, you can be there in about 20 minutes. There you go. Yep. Excellent. So uh, you guys will be on hand at Seaside on Tap on Thursday. I'll be there. And talk about what you guys are all about. People are going to try your beer. They're going to sample your beer. What could they expect? How much fun will they have with your beer? Um, well, today we have three different styles. Um, as a Pennsylvania brewery, we do make a lager. Lagers in Pennsylvania are very prevalent. Uh, so we definitely take pride in the fact that we brew lagers. So we have a Vienna-style lager here. Uh, we have a Belgian style ale, it's a triple, a lot of orange peel and coriander characteristics. And we also have a West Coast style IPA, our county line IPA. And you know, anyone, any brewery that starts out that doesn't make a, an IPA is probably messing up a little. So Yeah, IPAs are huge right now. They just Absolutely. load them with hops and, uh, and we just enjoy them. So this one we're going to talk to, we're going to probably try this one last. This has got 9.3%. See, So this is the showstopper right here. Yeah, yeah, normally I would say yes, but when you're trying craft beer, hops always go last. Because okay. they are a palate wrecker. So you tend to want to go with the lighter beers and end with the hops. Yeah, I'm just here to sample. So you know what, they're up. Uh, you <laughs> do your thing. That. Sure. Let's sample some sure. beer. We'll and, start with uh, the, the Belgian first. Oh, sure. Yeah. Got yeah, absolutely. Get you uh, all liquored up, right? Yeah, absolutely. I love like the artwork too. You guys with the, with the logos and designs is fantastic. Yep. So Anything that we do, we try and do within uh, different friends. Okay. So it's a local artist named J.P. Flexner okay. out in uh, the Philadelphia area. So if you ever want to look him up. So this is a Belgian style triple. It's made with orange peel and coriander. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's light in body, but it does come uh, up high in alcohol at 9.3%. A lot of flavor. Yep. A lot of flavor. It is very light though. But it's got a fruity. It's got like a fruity. That's that's the dangerous part because of the fruity characteristics. Yeah. You know, it's dangerous. Half the people that try these, they want a pint of it, but you can't drink a full pint of 9.3% beer. No. You normally get into it. Uh, you could. <laughs> you can do. Camera you know, lady says yes. Yeah. Normally you get it in a tulip glass, uh, maybe 10, 10 ounces instead of the 12 or 16, okay. just because of how potent uh, the beer is. And are these available, could you buy these in, in Jersey? Uh, yes, absolutely. Stores? Yep. Okay. Um, right now our Tribute Triple is only in 22 ounce format, so you see that in, in that section. Um, we just started, we got our canning line as of the beginning of June, so these are new products in New Jersey in terms of uh, that format. But uh, yeah, so everything that you see here is available in, in New Jersey. Excellent. Let's go. You open the next one. I'm going to grab some more sure. glasses. Open up the next one. Let us, let, let, uh, let us know what we try next. Sure. What do you got over there? What's next that we're going to be drinking? This is a, our uh, Vienna style lager. It's called the Churchill Lager. Okay. We actually won gold at the 2013 Great American Beer Festival out in Denver. This is like just a summer beer. Just that you're drinking this. Um, it's, it's a lager. It's, it's, it's a low alcohol beer, so it's definitely, you know, lagers were meant to be consumed in, in uh, larger amounts. Because the lower alcohol, nice, crisp, clean, refreshing uh, style beers. Um, you can definitely drink this year round. You know, mm. going towards the fall months will be a little better because there's a lot of roasty. I was just going to say that, absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or toasty, toasty characteristics. Mm -hmm. But it's a, a, it's a clean, everyday drinking lager. That's what women say about me. I got toasty characteristics. <laughs> How about that? It's very good, too. That's just a nice, nice light beer. Yep. Nice, good taste. Yep. Okay. And, and uh, normally what, how I put it is, you know, when you're brewing all day and you're busy in the brewery sweating, you are not ending your day with this unless nope. you're home. No. <laughs> lager. Lager is an everyday easy drink of beer, so that's kind well, of... Well, you could end your day with this if you wanted to sleep on the floor. Right. So right. that's not the wrong with grain bags, because that definitely happens in a brewery. There you go. There you go. <laughs> all right. And what else we got? We go with the IPA. Yep. IPA last. It's our county line IPA. Um, we dry hop with mosaic. So that means after fermentation, we add even more hops to get that pungent aroma. Okay. So you're going to get a lot of grapefruity, citrusy characteristics from this one. Yes. And all these beers, uh, you'll be able to sample once again over at Seaside on Tap Thursday night over in Seaside Park. So looking forward to that. So uh, uh, this, is the, this is the IPA. Yep. Make sure you um, get a nice uh, smell of that. You can smell wow. very pungent. Yeah. Very, very. So I'm going to drink this one. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for coming Anytime. here. We Thank will you. see you guys at uh, Seaside on Tap. I'm yep. going to keep drinking. And uh, we'll let the, our, our camera girl drink as well. So we'll see you at Seaside on Tap. Big Thank thanks you. to uh, Neshamini Beer. I said it right? Neshamini Creek. Got it. <laughs>